In the words of Villa Lobos, the great Brazilian composer, you have a longing, a homesickness, a heartache for the forest of Brazil that never leaves your, your imagination or your heart. I do this uh, because I'm a scientist and a human being. The focus of our research is trying to understand not only how climate impacts the rainforest, but how rainforest impacts the climate. The metabolism of the forest alone in the Amazon is equal to over 100 billion human beings. The life energy of 20 times the population of the planet is right here in the Amazon forest. We do a huge array of measurements, different kinds of processes being investigated from deep in the soil to leaves in the canopy. We measure individual leaves to, to measure how large that flow of water is through the leaf that contributes to that geyser of atmospheric water vapor to the atmosphere and how that changes from wet season to dry season. We climb into the canopy, into the trees, to sample leaves to measure their response to drought. But the anchor to all this really is this eddy flux tower, the tower that measures the fluxes of carbon dioxide and water vapor. The tower tells us the pattern of what is happening, and the detailed measurements tell us the why it's happening, and we put those two together, and we get a powerful insight into the function of the whole system. One of the most interesting things that we're finding is support for the widespread idea is that the forest is, at least to some degree, resilient to climate change. And this is because biology has an incredible diversity of ability to cope with change. And this doesn't mean it's, it's not going to be vulnerable to climate change, because if we don't amend our, our ways, the fate of this forest will be grim indeed. But if we're able to minimize the impact, we might be able to squeak by. What we face is a question about what choices we make as a civilization. Do we want to preserve the incredible legacy of 300 million years of evolution of land plants that is showcased by the Amazon as the great last largest extent of forest on Earth? Or will we choose to risk all of that for a few more years of energy from fossil fuel burning?